In the season 21 finale, NCIS alluded to a tough time for Gary Cole's character, Alden Parker. Parker's physical condition deteriorated as he was investigating a murder on a Navy ship when a big piece of metal imprisoned him. Once Katrina Law's character released him from the handicap, the supervising agent sliced his leg and it kept bleeding. Parker thus started to lose consciousness and started having hallucinations as the two agents were imprisoned in the ship's engine room. As Knight was ready to save them, Parker drifted in and out of consciousness and saw Lily, an NCI's mystery girl. Parker initially saw Lily as a projection of a girl playing hide-and-seek that was projected onto the ship's engine room. Parker's mental image of Lily then became a suppressed recollection of a previous life in which Lily was seen playing the same game with a small kid she named Aldi on a ship. Lily's brother Alden Parker appeared to be the kid playing hide-and-seek with her, and their mother appeared to be the one reprimanding them, according to the context. In the NCIS season 21 finale, it was hinted that Alden Parker had a somber and suppressed destiny when he awoke and found himself unable to recall Lily. Parker's terrifying experience in the NCIS season 21 finale was clarified by fresh remarks made by showrunner Stephen D. Binder. Parker's hallucinations were discussed by the NCIS showrunner, and Binder said that Parker wasn't quite sure who the girl in the flashback was. Because of this, Alden Parker was honest with Jessica Knight when he declared he had never met a Lily. The disclosure is consistent with Parker's persona as a team leader, who has always been open and truthful. Although Parker isn't as forthcoming as Mark Harmon's Larry Jethro Gibbs was, he isn't as reticent either. The most plausible explanation is that Parker had a painful encounter with Lily and that he repressed the memories unconsciously. Binder's remark, however, implied that Parker was completely unaware of Lily, indicating that the event was momentous enough for Parker to erase all recollections of his sister. Therefore, Lily's accidental death might be the suppressed memory, which would allow Parker to completely suppress his sister's memories. Furthermore, if Lily had survived the ordeal, Parker would have developed memories of his sister and would have had something to recall when Knight inquired. The Alden Parker character has a more nuanced backstory, which implies that Gary Cole's remarkable versatility will be utilized by the showrunners in NCIS season 22. An additional personality to the mix was provided by Gary Cole's character, whose presence in the series works well. Much said, Cole may contribute much more to the show if NCIS exposed personal information about him. Since Gary Cole took over for Mark Harmon upon his departure from the series in season 19, there hasn't been a deep dig into the Alden Parker character. The ideal chance to do it is by delving into the mystery surrounding Lily in NCIS season 22. Further revealing more about Alden Parker will make Gary Cole's character even more lovable to viewers. Parker has spent almost five years working on the series. Despite Cole's outstanding performance, more nuance should have been introduced to the role. When it was discovered at the conclusion of NCIS Season 3 that a drug dealer had killed his wife and children, Larry Jethro Gibbs gained further dimension. Now that he's settled in, Parker deserves to take a deep dive. The spotlight implies that Gary Cole will be heavily featured in NCIS Season 22, regardless of what the show uncovers regarding Parker's delusions.